Hello everyone and welcome to a new video and uh, I'm excited to share with you the news that uh, Trust Wallet now is available as a browser extension. We have used uh, Metamask, we have used TronLink and Trust Wallet uh, wasn't quite in the scheme of things as a browser extension uh, but Binance has recently launched it. So let's straight away move ahead and understand how we can get Trust Wallet as a browser extension and uh, use it so what you need to do is you need to visit this particular uh, link i'm going to put it in the description trustwallet.com slash browser extension and i'm going to run through the process of actually doing the installation but before i can proceed i would request you to kindly subscribe to my youtube channel if you've not done yet please do not forget to press the bell icon besides that you can find a few links make sure that you join the telegram group too so once you are on this link you need to click on the get trust wallet it will lead you to the chrome extensions just click on add to chrome once you do that it can it's giving the message warning message it can read and change all your data on all websites modify data and copy and paste okay i'm saying add extension okay so you can see over here now trust wallet over here has been added to my list of extensions now as usual uh, you're going to be getting two options import a wallet or uh, recover a wallet obviously most of you guys are going to create on uh, import a wallet so you click on import your wallet and uh, here the privacy policy i would say no thanks and uh, here you need to import your secret phrase if you have and uh, obviously i'm going to put it up over here so what you need to do is one by one you need to input your uh, 12 secret words and then proceed so i'm going to go back and say create a new wallet again uh, privacy i don't want to opt for sharing data no and i uh, need to set a password over here so i'm going to set a password over here which needs to be eight characters at least one uppercase character at least one digit and at least one symbol so i'll just uh, generate a password for myself first so once you have set your password you need to agree to the terms and uh, click on proceed when you click on proceed uh, you are instructed to back your secret phrase up uh, write down your secret phrase and store it in a safe place never share your secret phrase with anyone uh, because the moment uh, you are sharing your secret phrase your funds can be uh, just removed from there so make sure you write it somewhere safe uh, make sure you don't uh, save it digitally so that it can't be misused so I'm going to proceed over here so the secret phrase is now going to be shown on the next screen now obviously i'm uh, not going to be using this wallet this is a demo video hence i'm going to proceed with showing the particular keys and i will just need to sort of uh, write it down i'll just take a photograph of it uh, because we need so we'll have your 12 words so since I'm not using it, I've just clicked a snapshot of it and uh, we will use for verification. So you shouldn't be uh, taking any photographs or anything digital. Write it down on a piece of paper and something and uh, you have a copy option over here. So digital is something which I would strictly uh, advise against. So when you click on proceed, confirm your secret phrase, the first one word. So you'll have to confirm it the first word was action so i'll click on action then fun it was then it was drink then it was admit then it was very then it was describe obey eyebrow reunion candy stable done and we move on next so congratulations uh, sorry congratulations your wallet has been created trust set as a default wallet for tap connections so 
uh, you can so for the moment I'll uh, make it yes and, and click on open the wallet so so with trust wallet you have three easy ways to assess dApps uh, the trust wallet icon the wallet icon injected browser got it manage all your tokens easily millions of tokens blah 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 okay I'm ready to use it so you can see over here uh, obviously I don't have any tokens so I won't be seeing anything we'll just run through the settings and see what all options are over here so here is the option for network wherein you can switch the chain from right now the chain is default is ethereum you can switch over to polygon smart chain uh, avalanche or any other chain uh, language here from english to any other uh, language which you use uh, here you can switch off the option to set it as a default wallet and you can use any other like metamask or something uh, once you have installed it in an event you need to view your secret phrase you can view it over here Obviously, it's going to ask for the password just as it asks in your trust wallet. So once you punch in your password, it's going to reveal your secret word and uh, help and support. And let's go back to the wallet. Now here, what is this? Manage tokens. So you can add custom tokens over here. Now let's say I need to add some token. We have everything possible here. Let's say I need to add the coin. So here I can add a uh, uh, now BTC to it. So you can add any custom uh, token over here, and uh, the one thing which uh, here is your history wallet. Now, unlike your trust wallet, what we use, we have uh, multiple uh, in MetaMask also accounts right now for the moment i can't see any uh what do you call it uh, multiple account feature over here probably we might see it soon for the moment i can't see it so now let's try to move on to some tap uh, swipe i mean a decentralized site uh, let's say pancake swap pancake swap So when we have uh, moved on to a decentralized, when I say connect wallet, so obviously it asks here connect wallet and trust wallet. When I click over here, you can see over here, this is how it will be. It's asking you for you to connect to the trust wallet, allow viewing wallet balance and activity sending requests. So you have the option as a view and transaction. This is a good feature, I would say. Uh, wherein you know, they can only view so I would right now I'm selecting for the purpose allow view only and uh, connect so switch networks uh, smart chain switch so here you see now we are connected to this particular wallet you can see the recent transactions etc etc so this is how the chrome extension for trust wallet would be working so i hope that you enjoyed this video do subscribe to my youtube channel uh, do like it share it across so that it's going to be useful for many other people and uh, until the next video take care be safe